Mwale Medical and Technology City, commonly abbreviated as MMTC, is a community-owned sustainable metropolis located in Butare Sub-County, Kakamega, Kenya. It's centered around a large medical complex with a 5,000 patient capacity Hamptons Hospital, with a research and innovation park in the Plaza District and four more districts, Industrial District, Golf District, Airport District, and Grid District. It also has a large industrial district anchored by a solar power plant. Three other districts have residential homes with a 36-hole golf course, a commercial shopping center with a mall, supermarkets, and an airport for evacuating patients to the hospital via a planned cable car. This mega project will cost a lot. Can you guess how much exactly? The city costs $2 billion and it's a golden standard for new green cities development worldwide. MMTC serves as a successful template for other new cities due to the way it's integrated and uplifted the local community and catalyzed economic growth in the region. The lead investor, Julius Mwale, a Kenyan technology entrepreneur and investor based in the U.S., assembled a team of technology and healthcare experts and companies from the U.S. and enlisted them to build the city. Construction took place in phases, so let's see how that process went. Are you interested in how this innovative city was built? You'll find out very soon, and for that to happen as soon as possible, you just need to subscribe to our channel. A few seconds is enough for one click, and then we can continue the video. Phase 1 began in 2014 and encompassed a multi-billion dollar shopping center and residential complex, Hamptons Mall, with M. Walmart Supermarket as the anchor. The mall hosts M. Walmart Supermarket, Hamptons Cafe Bed and Breakfast, a showroom, and more than 90,000 square feet of private residences. Phase 2 commenced in June 2016 and ran to September 2017. This included the first section of a 5,000-bed referral hospital, over 70 kilometers of roads, and more than 300 solar streetlights. Phase 2 also included the first phase of 4,800 homes expected to host doctors and nurses. The final phase, from September 2017 to December 2020, has a 36-hole golf course resort and residences, an airport with a second shopping mall, a convention center, and a water park connected to the hospital by a cable car. It will also have a medical school, a technology park, and a 144 megawatt gasification power plant. Residents of the city will be placed in two districts, Plaza and Grid District. The Grid District runs along the boulevard for six kilometers starting at 1st Street and continuing past 12th Street. It is called the grid because it forms a grid as it runs from 1st, 2nd, and 3rd streets and continues to 12th Street. The district is zoned for low-density housing and, unlike the Plaza District, it does not contain high-rise buildings. It runs from east to west of the city and is situated on beautiful rolling hills with the three rivers of Ngoye, Indichesa, and Umbanda. The boulevard is lined with large, beautiful mansions for residents. Of course, the airport district will be connected to these two districts for transporting people to the hospital and tourists to the golf district. Yes, we said that the construction phases of the city itself have been completed. However, there's another project within this one that is ongoing and will not be completed until 2023. That project is MMTC Solar PV Park. It's a 30 megawatt solar PV power project planned in Kakamega, Kenya. The project is currently in the announced stage and it'll be developed in a single phase. The solar park is being developed and is currently owned by MCX Environmental Energy. It's a ground-mounted solar project and it's expected to supply enough clean energy to power 4,800 households. Apart from this, there's also a research and innovation park. It's based in the Plaza District and is welcoming a 28 billion shilling or $260 million data center by the French firm Atos. As the research park grows, several other major international firms have already taken space and chosen MMTC as their African headquarters. In addition to being a hospital at the center of the local economy, it also receives patients with severe forms of cancer and other diseases. Golf courses, numerous resorts and residences attract tourists, which also affects the economy and is one of the many benefits of this city. Thousands of workers are employed in the city, making it one of the largest employers in the region. Investments from other countries have also had a positive impact on the region, which contributes to the development of both the project and the people who live there. Yes, the project is genius. Do you agree with this? 
feel free to leave your opinions or criticisms in the comments section below. We'll be happy to read them. If you haven't yet, then subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. If you enjoyed the video, drop us a like and share the video on social media. That way you'll help us even get more subscribers. One click takes only a second. Seems this is the end of the video. Thank you for your attention. We'll see you again soon.